there's two, two really interesting uh, surprises for us. One is that I'm surprised that the application teams who we work with to onboard their applications into CAS are really embracing some of the, the, the results of the scan and, and they're taking what, what CAS is producing and of course there's al always questions about you know what is this result showing or is this really the, the violations or, or metrics that, that's derived from our app but they're, they're really looking at their application in a different way and already I think when they're planning their next release they are incorporating some of the findings out of CAS into it so um, we do have plans to to rescan um, as our applications release new versions of their code um, so we, we can actually now track the, the results of that and, and my guess is that we're going to see improvements in all areas. The other surprise is Actually seeing some of these numbers, we started to think about what more is possible with this. Uh, we had in mind initially going into using CAS a very targeted goal of looking at function points as a way to capture our developer productivity. Uh, we knew all along that there were other uh, uh, attributes that we can get out of CAS, other metrics that uh, CAS will produce for us. And quality um, numbers are interesting, but we've already tracked quality very uh, closely and, uh, and, and we, see, we see the trends and, and, and we know what, what we need to, do, to address. But what we started to look at is the potential of using some of the metrics to do other things beyond just you know, software quality measurement. Uh, we think that there's a potential to leverage this data and incorporate some of our existing data into a resource planning, for example. How can we look at this data? Because CAS will give us result sets that we can look at uh, in terms of uh, geographies of our development teams. We can look at different types of technologies and how they score compared to one another. And that allows us to make some conscious decisions um, and, and really data-driven decisions that back up our assessment of should we actually build some new product in this platform or should we use the team that's located in this area because what we see are very different things in CAST. Early on, yeah, even before our uh, Broadridge days when we were part of ADP brokerage, our executives always had this mindset of we need measurements because this is the only way that we can allow our associates to understand where they are and where they need to go. It's part of our DNA and I think that's one of the core reasons why getting cast into Broadridge was an easy decision for us. It was the only um, vendor that allowed us to capture function points and we needed that as the basis for a lot of the software uh, metrics that we wanted to, to use going forward. The emphasis on software uh, measurement and, and, and the byproduct of that is, is enormous. You know, we, we're just scratching the surface of what we could potentially do with some of the, the numbers that we see now. I think beyond you know, resource management, I see uh, that using the, the output of CAS software, we uh, will be better at managing our portfolios and make decisions to allow us to say, you know what, this application that we're spending that cost uh, X amount of dollars per function point may not be a worthwhile investment for us to continue on and shift our, our spend into something else. We think that we can use this data to be able to uh, really optimize our run the, run the bank, change the bank uh, ratios and, and really focus on being uh, better at how we deploy these resources in what capacity. So I think there's a lot more that can happen and I think, I think that's going to come out more and more as we start to see more of our application 
um, in, in onboarded into CAS and looking at the results of this data all as a, as a holistic enterprise view of that. So um, we're excited. We see not, the, not only the potential of what this uh, product can bring to, to Broadridge, but I see it as almost a value that we can bring to our clients and I think that we can also differentiate ourselves from uh, our competitions using the power behind these measurements.